All right, welcome back. I'm gonna go ahead and review one of my all-time favorites, LL Cool J. First album, Radio. Man, when I was growing up, I used to listen to this song a lot. I mean, this album. And one of my favorite songs is I Can't Live Without My Radio. I just loved music at that time so much. And there was somebody that actually, that um, made a great song called can't live without my radio. Kept listening to it, and it, the beat was amazing. I mean, it was all produced by Rick Rubin, besides one song with um, Jazzy J. He did the "I Need a Beat" remix, but other than that, it was all Rick Rubin and the lyrics by um, Alo Cool J. It's an amazing album. Um, I give it a four out of five, four point five out of five. There are some songs that, that are whatever to me, but um, I, I love this album. Can't Live Without My Radio, Rock the Bells. Rock the Bells is an all-time classic. Um, if you don't know, now you know. I would recommend this album to anybody. Anybody that loves hip-hop, uh, loves one of the beginning um, albums that took hip-hop to the next level this is one of them and a lot of people give a um, LL a lot of um, slack for not being tough enough but and stuff like that but I mean um, LL Cool J is um, far far from that he's one of the best MCs he's in a lot of people's top five top ten uh, we gotta respect the man he has a lot of um, albums he has a great body of work um, another thing, also, this came out in 1985, so you have to keep that in mind when you listen to it, and enjoy. It's a, it's a great album. I definitely recommend it. It went platinum. It's 47 minutes of greatness. And there is one more thing I wanted to mention, but I just can't remember. Dang. Can't remember, but whatever. Definitely recommend it. Um, the first, It's going to start off with a bang because it's I Can't Live Without My Radio. And if you haven't heard it, you're in for a treat. So I hope you have a wonderful day.